the British royal family, AKA the world's number one exporter of black daughters-in-law. The royals have gotten a lot of criticism for some old fashioned racist attitudes, but now they're committing to making a major step into the 20th century. New this morning in the aftermath of disturbing claims of racism made by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, there are now reports that the royal family will soon appoint a diversity chief. Yeah, it was during an interview with Oprah that Harry and Meghan said that an unnamed member of the royal family raised the issue of how dark their child would be potentially. A Buckingham Palace source says that plans had been in the works for a so-called diversity czar prior to the explosive interview. Okay. I think it's great that the royal family is hiring a diversity czar, but you guys don't have to pretend that you were already planning on doing this. I mean, this isn't a family that cares about diversity. The queen has been in power for, what, 70 years? And she's only ever had one kind of dog. So clearly, the royal family could use some help from a diversity czar, you know? They can teach the queen why it was wrong for the one black Spice Girl to be called scary. You know, they can teach her what BBC really stands for. Hell, the only thing they don't need to teach the queen is how to dress for black church. But the big question is, how exactly will the diversity czar carry out all these changes? Well, to find out, I'm really excited to announce that we have been granted an exclusive interview with the new diversity czar for the royal family. I think we actually have him on now. Hello. Hello, Trevor. Yeah. Or should I say, hello, Trevor? M Michael Costa? You're the Queen's diversity so Like, how did you get the job? Uh, Prince William and I go way back. The, the Windsors used to hire me to lose to him in tennis. No, I mean, I mean, you're, you're a white guy. Like, why wouldn't the royal family hire somebody more diverse for the diversity job? Well, you know, they thought about it, but then people were so angry after the whole Archie controversy, they just decided to make black people happy and pick a white guy. No, I, I don't think that, you know, whatever. Okay, let's just, let's just get into it. Um, uh, what is your plan to make the royal family more accepting of diversity? Well, first off, Trevor, people underestimate how diverse the royal family already is. You know, we have Welsh people, we have Scottish people, we have zombies. It, it, it's a rainbow over here. Costa, none of those actually count. The royal family needs to do a better job of promoting inclusivity among black and brown people. Way ahead of you, Trevor. And, and we've got a great idea for how to do that. You see, the problem with the British is that too many of them are white. So our new idea is for the British to reach out to non-white countries and make them British. Boom. Instant diversity. Costa, that sounds like colonization. What? No, no, I'm describing partnership. Britain's partners give Britain their diversity and also their raw materials. And in return, Britain will teach them cricket, the world's most exciting sport. This is a win-win for everyone. Costa, that is definitely colonization. You're talking about restarting the British Empire. Look, call it whatever you want, Trevor, but the fact is this is the only way the royal family is going to survive. Now, look, do you want more seasons of The Crown or not? Uh... All right, good luck with your colonization, Costa. Thank you. I really want to see season five.